Greetings, everyone. Today, we're going to be reviewing Patagonia's Retro X Fleece Vest. We're going to take them out of their packaging, look at the details, look at the marketing, and lastly, I will wear both of them. And as a bonus, I'm going to wear them with casual wear and with a button-up collared shirt so you can see what they'd look like if you wear these into the office. First off, the first package came in this recyclable cardboard, and the second one came in plastic, so it was around the same time when I ordered them, but just interesting to know that Patagonia is kind of transitioning here, so I don't know if they're going to permanently do this cardboard because I did receive another item in this cardboard as well. All right, let's take them out. Both of the packages are rather minimal and just come with your receipt and the included return label. And the color on the left here is called Brown Bear. On the right, this is called New Navy. I'm kind of torn between the two. This one is more casual and this one is going to match my work outfit much better so i'm looking forward to this because it also hides dirt and it's a little more muted the vests immediately do have a vintage look as for the material it has this old school carpet feel but it also has this plasticish feel which explains the polyester material used to make this synthetic material these vests weigh 17.9 ounces each which is substantially heavier than the other alternative which looks similar that is going to be the retro pile fleece and that one comes in at 12.8 ounces so this weighs about 41 percent more than the retro pile fleece which is a similar look for comparison i have the retro pile fleece as a long sleeve this is lighter and more breathable for sure one of the downsides i did notice with this retro pile fleece is that it does pill quite easily so I wasn't too fond of that. This is, however, a lighter material. This feels a lot more durable and resistant to damage. For this RetroX fleece vest, the exterior is going to be a 100% polyester. This is 50% recycled Sherpa fleece, and the interior is gonna be what's called a bonded windproof membrane. Specifically, this fleece is quarter inch pile, and the interior is going to be what's called a warp knit mesh and it has a wicking finish and a windproof barrier which is called high q and this is going to help with the odor control so again you have a lot of marketing going on basically it's a bonded inner liner and it does have somewhat of a grippy finish which i'm not too crazy about because it kind of grabs onto your shirt a little more but this is going to help with the insulation and holding in that heat a bit better so on the left, this one does not have a liner. On the right, it does have a liner, and this liner is going to be what makes it a bit heavier as well. On the center, we do get a wind flap. As for the pockets, we do get a nylon chest pocket, and we do have hand pockets here as well. And the hand pockets are extremely roomy, which I'll show you in a bit, and you're not gonna believe how roomy they are. In total, this item is 507 grams, 17.9 ounces. So it has a decent weight to it. The body itself is 12.9 ounces, and the interior lining is going to be 3.2 ounces. The chest pocket, the outer collar, and the wind flap are going to be another 3.4 ounces added onto this vest. The chest pocket is 100% nylon and it has a plain weave finished off with a DWR finish. Surprisingly, this does not have washing instructions in English. So I will translate for you. This is saying to machine wash in warm water don't use bleach if you're going to dry this in a dryer to make sure it's low heat and don't iron. Let's look at the marketing now. This is a regular fit. And again, feel free to pause to look this over.
Awesome. Okay, I'll be trying both of these pieces on now so you can get a better look of how they fit. All right, first up, we have the new navy color. Let's do a 360. The zipper pulls themselves are very durable and they're finished off with a nylon. Okay, testing out the chest pocket. This is a Galaxy Samsung S8 Plus. This is about the equivalent of a 6.7 inch phone. Compare that to your Galaxy S22 Ultra, your iPhone 13 Pro Max. So a pretty good sized phone. One of the bigger ones you'll have. And there's still about a half inch space in here. So there's plenty of room for your oversized phones. As for the zippered hand pockets, this is gonna be quite comical, but check out how much space these have. So you can put scrolls, maybe a foot long subway sandwich. If you have a smaller tripod with a GoPro or some sort of camera stand, rest assured that they will fit with plenty of space. You can see they're probably over two feet, just under your collarbone, all the way down past your belt line. And those run on both sides. On the left side, it does run under the chest pocket as well, so you can do that on both sides if you desire. If you do desire to wear this piece with the collar down, it does flap up a bit, but I do feel that if you do iron this or wear it with time, it will start to flap, perhaps with a few washes. Okay, let's try this on with the dress shirt. This new navy complements dress shirts much better and is much more subdued than the brown bear. So again, based off of the environment you're using these in, you might want to consider the color that you go for. And now with the color down. Here we have the brown bear color. Definitely a much more casual piece. As for the top of the zipper here, it is exposed. So it is possible that it can catch onto your facial hair doesn't seem too likely, but just be advised. And again, as for this collar, I'm not too crazy about it kind of puffing out in this awkward angle, but I am hoping with wear that this will shape more naturally. Okay, let's see what this looks like with a dress shirt. And again, this brown bear color is a bit more casual, so it might not work for some professional work environments. And that concludes this video. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'll do the best I can to answer as quickly and as accurately as possible. If you can do me a favor of liking the video and subscribing, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps these smaller channels grow more and bring more content like this to you in the future. That said, have a great day, have a great evening, strike her out.